Stacia's oh. caught on fire. There was a huge hole on the side and we blew it out. And we're like, oh no, I don't think it's gonna release. It was not going to release. Welcome back to another video. And today is exciting because we are checking off something from our bucket list. We are here in Chiang Mai at the Yipang Lantern Festival. And this is regional specific to Chiang Mai and the Lana Kingdom. And there's over 5,000 attendees at this event and we are like super excited for this. So many lanterns. So we booked really last minute and we are super lucky to find this company called Asia Highlights. We sent them an email. They were able to snag us two VIP tickets. Yeah, Stacia's number one for some reason and I'm number two. Always I don't know. number one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they were amazing in getting us these tickets really last minute and they sell out super fast so if you're ever in the situation where you want to see the lantern festival in Chiang Mai go to Asia highlights we're gonna leave their link down in the description below I'm just really thankful that they had great customer service and were able to help us out so check them out so we have a lot of stuff on our itinerary tonight we have like a nice dinner underneath the stars we have this like beautiful performance to watch and then the lantern festival so so excited. Yeah, so this is gonna be really cool. So right here behind me, you can see they have all this stuff set up for dinner. And this is where we're gonna be having our dinner underneath the stars. They have these mats laid out with pillows and little tables. It's so cool. Hello, thank you. Hello. We just got in here. Well, this place is crazy. There's so many people. Look at this, there's a performance going on right here behind me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so even though this is the Yi Peng Festival, it is celebrated right alongside Loi Kratong, which we showed you guys in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go watch it. Um, but they gave us here at the Yi Peng Festival candles that we can use to also celebrate Loi Kratong here as well. So we're gonna go like these now. We're actually offering a lot of traditional Thai snacks for everybody, but there's lines of people to get to all these snacks. We're gonna to try to like cut through. And just, like, let's cut everybody. What do you got there, babe? We have potatoes and a turnip, and then we're getting rice crackers. Thank you. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we got our snacks. Yay. And what is that? Oh, coconut rice wrapped in a banana leaf. It's really good. You'll like that. I like these. They're like little mini rice cakes. <laughs> We're about to go in right now to have dinner. There's so many people walking in. I don't know if we like sit wherever we want to sit or how this works. So I guess like you gather all your food first and then you try to find a spot. I don't know how it works. Thank you. 
We got all our food. Yeah. Got a mixture of some fruit and I don't even know what. <laughs> what did you get over here? I have no idea. Absolutely no clue, but it all looks really good. What do you eat? It's mango sticky rice. It's too easy. <laughs> but it's the blue rice. Does it taste any different than normal rice? No. So the event we're at right now for Yi Peng is actually a paid ticketed event, if you couldn't tell. The actual celebration is just celebrated across the streets of the old city and throughout Chiang Mai. However, if you see any of the pictures online of like tons of lanterns all in one space, that's always from the ticketed event. There are around five ticketed events that happen, a few right on the full moon and then a few the day after and the day before. We decided to do this event the day after the full moon so that we could show you guys all of the Loy Kratong festivities on the day of the full moon. So now we're here the day after celebrating this and it's interesting so far, but I am really excited to release the lanterns. Get that sticky rice, babe. <laughs> I think we stumbled upon a Thai wishing tree. I don't really know what the Thai name for this would be, but it reminds me of the one we saw at the Kaloxi Temple in Penang, Malaysia. So what you do is you grab one of these gold leaves, write your name and or your wish, and then hang it on the tree and it's supposed to come true. As always, I'm going up to the top of the level here because not many people get that high. Because you're like the tallest person in Thailand right now. Alright. You did it. You're up. I want ours to be kissing. <laughs> Hope that wish comes true. We're trying to get like a really cool Instagram shot and what this guy's doing, he's launching off these like huge sparklers and it's throwing off this like big V shape of sparkles. It looks so freaking awesome. And I'm standing in front of it and Stacia's <laughs> trying to take a photo and the sparks are all falling on top of me and I burnt a hole in my shirt. I was like, ah, oh, I'm on fire. You were on fire and then it, this one was so big that I had to like duck for cover. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy. Burn but up. right now what they're doing, they're, they're launching this huge lantern. Oh, oh, We just got into the area where we sit down and we're gonna launch our lanterns. Look at this place. They have all these seats set up and there's like a big temple. We are trying to find our seats in this huge, there's gotta be, how many seats are here? 5,000. 5,000 seats. So we have to find the two that are ours. Look at this, it's so awesome. We just got so lucky, we have the aisle. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get good photos and video for you guys. Ooh, we got the nice seats. We got some good seats. Oh, look at that, it's so cool and there's like mist coming out of it. We have our seats now and we're just relaxing and waiting because now there's going to be a performance and some dancers and like a Thai, some sort of Thai festival performance and then we're all going to get up and launch our lanterns all at the same time. This place is going to be just madness. There's so many people here. <laughs> the lanterns now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to light the lantern at the same time when you hear the music from the stage, okay? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. 
make that wish. It's not gonna go? Oh no! I don't think it's gonna go. I'm afraid it's gonna I think it's gonna hit. I think we should just pull it down. should be written across the screen right now. That was just insane. One of the most beautiful experiences we have ever encountered. That was the most beautiful experience I've ever had I, in my entire life. I just, I'm speechless. I'm uh, like, my breath was taken away when I launched that lantern into the air. It was so, <laughs> I, like, I was emotional and choked up and that usually doesn't happen. You're a softie. I'm such a softie. <laughs> but like, this was, uh, this was crazy and Stacia's oh. caught on fire. There was a huge hole on the side and we blew it out and we're like, oh no, I don't think it's gonna release. It was not going to release. And like so much hot air was coming out the side. I felt so sad inside for her. I was like, I'm gonna find another lantern. And I was like, hold on, hold on. We lifted it back up and we're like, just let the air fill it. And the little engine that could, man, that thing took off. And it, it floated like really low above people's heads and we're like, uh-oh. And all of a sudden it just took right off. Yeah. So happy. So essentially, like, I can't do anything without this man. We're such a good team. We are a good team. So, like, if my lantern didn't lift off, it would have been sad. They say if you make your wish and you see your lantern float up into the sky and it stays lit the entire time as far as you can watch it float away, then the wish that you made will come true if you do good deeds within the new year. And our wishes are definitely coming true. So excited. So happy. <laughs> so, this was, guys, like, it is a little bit touristy at the beginning, um, but hands down, this is a must see. Yeah. I would almost say come and plan your trip to Chiang Mai around this festival. It's that beautiful, that spiritual, that amazing. The camaraderie with within the crowd is yeah. so good. Everybody was like cheering each other on. Oh. It was just, it was such a great experience. Like I'm so, I just feel so good inside right now. Yeah. yeah. So we want to say a huge thank you to Asia Highlights yeah. for getting us these tickets so last minute. We really appreciate you. We'll leave a link down below in the description. Click on it, go check it out. If you're coming to this area and you want like a really good private tour or group tour, they have it all. So on that note, we are closing this video out because 
we're we're on such a high right now we have to stop right here so thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video